way back in 10th grade when I read The Double Helix by James Watson. I decided I wanted to be a genetic engineer and work with DNA. And so I've sort of coupled the two interests of strange microbes that live in weird places with my interest in DNA. My laboratory studies the mechanism for repair of DNA double-strand breaks, which matter to you and me because when DNA double-strand breaks aren't repaired properly, it can lead to certain types of cancer, specifically leukemias and lymphomas. And my lab is using a rather unique model organism that hasn't been popularly used for this sort of thing in the past. And the organism that we're using lives in the boiling mud pots of Yellowstone National Park. It lives in boiling acid and it suffers DNA insults on a daily basis. And it uses proteins to repair DNA double-strand breaks that are very much like the proteins that you and I use. So the name of the microbe is Sophilobus sulfatericus, and it's not actually a bacterium. It's an archaean, which um, they look a lot like bacteria, but in fact, they are a completely different branch of life. And they're thought to be representative of some of the most ancient forms of life on the planet and may actually be very similar to some of the extremophiles that we expect to find in outer space. Turns out that my microbe is thermophilic, and uh, thermophilic microbes tend to make very robust, sturdy proteins. The proteins that humans make tend to be very fragile. And since these proteins are very similar to the proteins you and I use, we're um, looking down the road to comparing these to the human proteins and trying to understand how the pro human proteins work by understanding how the archaeal proteins work first. This has a downstream application of leading to potential new cancer therapies, treatments, and possible prevention approaches.